attention on that eye. That's the left eye. It looks pretty darn good right now. He's not worried about it. What he's worried about is merely the business at hand taking care of Kevin Kelly. Keeping out of trouble became the number one goal for David Reed growing up on the tough streets of Philadelphia. And boxing was a way to accomplish that, with its sights set on his dream of an Olympic gold medal. The six-time United States national amateur champion went on to become the only American boxer to win the gold in Atlanta. I wanted the gold. That was like, you know, I was so focused on the gold. That was my destiny. In 1997, the 23-year-old went pro, trying to recapture the legacy of great Philadelphian boxers gone by. I changed drastically. You know, I, you know, I keep my hands up more and more disciplined. You know, before it was only about three rounds, but now, you know, it's 12, and um, a whole lot more disciplined. Reed lived up to his Olympic and amateur accolades, walloping Robert Kuhn in Denver. It only took one punch to send Jorge Baca to the boardwalk in Atlantic City. The Philadelphia story for Simon Brown was sayonara. And then, Reed's crowning moment, capturing the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship belt in front of friends and relatives who have stood behind him all these years and will be in Atlantic City tonight. So now that he has the WBA belt, has the accomplishment changed his boxing goal? It always stayed the same, keep working hard, you know, uh, I want to be the best, I'm try to try to be the pound for pound best fighter in the world. But there's apprehension. How far can he go after injuring his left eye from the constant battering? Numerous surgeries have improved its appearance, but the eye will be a prime target for challengers. It's a whole lot better. It's just a small procedure. You, you know, it, I'm so used to it. So, you know, you can ask me, you know, how the procedure ends, how they begin, you know. It's okay. Uh, the eye is okay. No problem seeing it, nothing like that. Right now, let's get to it. We go to the center of the ring, and the ring.